Jez, you have the tash well manicured. That's all I have left is the tash. The head is all, hair is all gone. Now look at here, now, now, listen. Uh, did you enjoy the last nine or ten weeks? Oh, it was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Every third evening, Tuesday evening, to say, come on, get ready to get them Weltons off you until we get go dancing. That's uh, 14 weeks now. Oh, well, do you know, I'll tell you something, if it's, if it's, from, if it's from the belly button up, the you lift, have it. Yeah. <laughs> so you're doing all the lifts. There's a man over here now. What, what's your, your... Michael? How are you? Are you? You're happy out, are you? I'm happy enough, yeah. Happy enough. Now, uh, is this going, this is going to be the best dance of all time, is it? Of course it is, yeah. Yeah, There'll be no bother to you. No bother at all. Oh, MJ. MJ's getting a no. lot. Look at, and, uh, look, at, look at MJ and the socks and a hole in them. That's for good lad. Must you know there are socks. <laughs> look at the cut of them. No, no, you can't be. Excuse me, this is going live to New York and Arras. Huh? Oh, not at all. No, no. Well, I, I tell you the truth, I'd handle if there was anything to handle, but there's, there's bugger all the handle. So there is. That's the story, why? Yeah. You're happy. Well, there's a tooth missing there. Would there be one missing out there? A tooth and a toe. Got a lot of heads, huh? Make a grand little cardinal. Well, certainly indeed. I signed a few mass cards there um, yesterday. No? Uh, I only just charged 15 euros for a I know, mass card. I know, I know. You don't bother with the vat. No, 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 no. no. Lord, and now, but it's, be, it's, it's going to be a great night. We've grown, grown a lot in the last nine weeks. I think we've had a great time. I'm looking forward to a good night. And. That's it, and a few pints afterwards. You know, this isn't all about pints, so it but it's the first time, Peter, I've been to bed with you. <laughs> it's, not, it's absolutely gorgeous. No, 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 there'll be no nerves. There should be no nerves. Any fella that's involved in Mayo TV and Irish TV and Reuters and Sky, there'll be no bother to you. That's right. Well, use the camera. Same as yourself. <laughs> Look at lads. That's it. Look, we'll have a great whole night, so we'll enjoy ourselves, and that'll be, be great. A man of now, who have we here? Sarah Kane. Sarah Kane. Well, everyone give Sarah Kane as the first one. Are you, are you a bit nervous about doing this? A little bit, yeah. Don't be a bit, because we'll have a great night. Seriously, when you get out there in front of the crowd, it'll be great. It really will. It'll be absolutely fantastic, so it will. So, it's, I mean, has it been a tough nine or ten weeks? Absolutely, but really lots of fun. Yeah, yeah. Hard work, but loads of Sarah fun. Sarah Kane has said it's going to be a good day. Hello, how are you? Ah, bless us. I hope you get the weather you're expecting. Oh, so do I. <laughs> oh, do I. You wouldn't know whether it's a dress or a parachute. <laughs> no, ah, no, isn't it? Are you, so who am I talking to here now? No, oh, sure, I was talking to him himself inside. And he was on about Captain and Ruth in the bed on his own at night. And you begin... You're the only, you're the only uh, real, real couple to be dancing. That's true. <laughs> and what does it make of this in Tesco? Huh? They've given me good support. <laughs> well, Noreen, all oh, La Is there a good crowd coming from La There is, surely. A good crowd. Oh, there you are. Somebody, somebody's phone. Noreen's phone is going. That's Tesco's. Now, I have to bring all that stuff with me. Don't let me go without that. because I find... How? <laughs> we have a Comanche, our first Comanche. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Teresa Byrne. Oh, Teresa! <laughs> Look at merchandise. <laughs> Teresa, the word is that I'm going to sell you tonight whether you want to be sold. <laughs> you enjoy, come here, did you enjoy the break? Yeah? I did indeed, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, this is a big break. Are you enjoy, looking forward to tonight? I am, yeah. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah, yeah, it'll be great. It will really will, Teresa. Right, come, come over here. Come over here and let's see this hair, though. Come here, lads. Is it really? Is it a hairdo or a dead cat? <laughs> it could be either, it could be either. Sheila, Sheila. She, oh, Sheila, I met you at, I met you, we were sitting behind you at a match. That's Mayor right, Clay, yeah? yeah right. And your, your little boys were with you. That's right, that's right. So you're looking forward to it? Yes, yes. And you're, da great. you're dancing with Marcus, isn't that right? I am I'd say he's is a screen. He <laughs> I think he is, I think Marcus is outside, is he? Marcus is outside and he's that's all right. He's, 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 so you're looking forward to it? I am. Get over the nerves, fine. Yeah, well, there's to be no nerves, it'll just be good and it'll be good fun, so it will. Good, good, good. No, yeah, you do all the talk now. Just a 
about ready to rock, ready to start, with a few people I have to thank and that. So, on behalf of Common Lucas Scale Bell and Tubber, it's an honor to welcome you all here tonight. Now, no words of mine could heap enough praise on the 10 couples that are taking part in Strictly Come Dancing tonight. Since Christmas, these people have applied themselves in the most magnificent way. And I can truthfully say that of the 10 couples hardly missed a night's training since Christmas. I want to laud the community spirit and unselfish commitment. I want also at this stage to heap the highest possible praise on our dance tutor, Porrick Munro. He's a man who has achieved high standards at all pursuits he has embarked on, and yet retained a modest manner, which is just one facet of his amazing people skills and personality. I want to thank Wilson Bird, Brenda Brown, and the management and staff of Brafey House for many kindnesses. We wish Gay Nevin, who recently retired, we wish, wish him many years of health and happiness. I want to thank the three local newspapers, the Connacht, the Western, and the Mayo News, also CRC, Castlebar, and MWR. I, we will also, I leave this to Frank, be welcoming our judges, Anne Corcoran, Henry Mitlade, and Margaret Jennings. You're very welcome. It's a privilege having you. I also want to say tonight, we have an independent scrutinizer, Brian Gibbons from Tor McCady, who will oversee everything from an independent standpoint, that everything is done properly and fairly. Thank you, Brian. I want at this stage also to thank the fundraising teams behind all the dancers. They have spent many busy weeks plotting and planning to help their particular couple. They've done massive, massive work for the club and indeed for the local schools, and thank you. I, want to, I also want to thank the backroom people here tonight, people you don't know that give up their time voluntary as well. The Sinead Feeney hairdressing bell and robe, who has done all the hair up inside this last 45 minutes. There's Liz Scahill, who is a beauty school in Clare Morris, and Liz is just from over Ballyglass originally. I want to thank them for the great job that they do for it each year. I want to thank Michael Gallagher there on video, and we'll be seeing his work in the weeks ahead. Also, John Moylet beside him there, photographer. I also want to thank Jimmy Murphy and Richard from Castlebar Credit Union, who will do the counting and accountancy for us as well. Thanks to them. Gratitude is also due to the club executive who have helped big time with this project. I'm thinking in particular here of our club treasurer, Jimmy Lally, Trina Donnelly, manager of our resource center, club trustee, Eddie Walsh, for their very efficiency and dedication. I'd also like to thank Michael John Duffy, who think, I think did a marvelous, marvelous job on that program. That program is one of the finest uh, productions that you'll actually see, I think, anywhere. And it's down there at the table. I also want to thank Bridie Heenan, John Jennings, Michael Murphy, for being ready and available to help out at a minute's call at any time. Particularly, I want to thank our generous sponsors from the business community across, across West Mayo and indeed further afield. Your generosity has been phenomenal. We sincerely thank you. And I urge everybody here that's a Ballantubber supporter to support the businesses that support us. It's as simple as that. A lot of businesses are going through hard times, these tough economic austerity times. Support local business at all times, please. Little remains to be said. I hope I've omitted nothing. Finally, I want to thank you, the people of the parish, and indeed the friends of Ballantubber across the county who continually, continually support us. These are good years. These are good times, and hopefully there'll be lots of good times as well. I will now hand you over to our one and only MC for the night, the inimitable Mr. Frank Ford. I know he will be highly entertaining and help you have a very enjoyable Strictly experience. Mr. Frank Ford. Oh, well, there's big support for me here tonight. Cheers, Kevin Burton has the old... Uh, the laptop out. 
Are you all in good form, ladies and gentlemen? Are we going to have a good night? That's about 10% of you. What about the other 90%? You're going to enjoy yourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be a great night. Certainly we in, uh, hope to have a wonderful, wonderful night here uh, with Ballantubber GA. Great weekend. We've had the St. Patrick festivities have kicked off. This is Ireland winning the, the uh, not the Grand Slam, but they're great, ladies and gentlemen. There's something else. They won the championship. It looked dodgy for a while, so it did. And I'm sure each and every one of you, you'll be big supporters. Hopefully Mitchells will do the business, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And hopefully they'll do the business in Crow Park. And bring a little bit of silverware back to me. Isn't that right? Yeah, we're going to have a great night, ladies and gentlemen. And we hope that you're going to enjoy yourselves. Now, let me... Shh, 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 shh. Bit of noise down there. No, I'll tell you what. Before we introduce our judges, ladies and gentlemen, please just be mindful of the fact that we've got a lot of dancers back there who are nervous. And if they hear a little bit of action and a little bit of fun and a little bit of response coming from the audience, it's going to make their, uh, you know, th 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 their entry on the stage that little bit easier. So please, please give them every support you possibly can. Plenty of cheering and plenty of clapping because they are nervous. So they are. They have put in a lot of weeks, ladies and gentlemen, into this and they want this to be a great night for them and they want this to be a great night for you. So you too, ladies and gentlemen, can play your part. So let's hear a big cheer for all the people backstage. Ah, oh, that's it. That's all we want to be here because we're going to have a great night with them. We're going to have great fun and it's great to be here with them. There's, this big, there's a big banner back there, so there is. I don't know. I don't know who it's for. I thought they were protesting. <laughs> said, Fick it, we'll have to get out of here before we start. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can we have your best attention? Because no night is complete without our judges. And over here, ladies and gentlemen, we've got three judges who have great experience in the whole area of dance and Strictly Come Dancing. I know nothing about dancing. I know as much about dancing as our dog knows about his father, <laughs> which is very little. I, my, ma, my mother, my late mother often said to me, she said, have you have two left feet. <laughs> And she said, I, I was all, I was no good at dancing. But ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you. And we'll introduce the ladies first. All the way, well, she's in Galway now, but we won't hold that against her. From Knock in County Mayo, ladies and gentlemen. Would you please put your hands together for Margaret Jennings. And she's, she's working with the HSE in Galway. She worked with Midwest, but she's a true Mayo woman. And uh, she's now ensconced in Galway for all her sense. So please put your hands together and give a big welcome to Margaret Chenins. Margaret, you're very welcome. We know you're going to have a great night. Involved with, with uh, public health nursing in Galway. God bless us, we all know that we all need that from time to time. So I'm sure it's a very, it's very taxing, so it is. Now, over here, the other lady, before we introduce the great King Henry, let us introduce, ladies and gentlemen, Anne Corcoran from uh, the Castle Court, and uh, they've been in the hotel business for years and years, and she has a particular interest, ladies and gentlemen, in Strictly Come Dancing. She loves dancing. She goes out quite a bit. Uh, she wa loves watching the dancing and all that type of thing. So she's really delighted to be here all the way from Westport, and I'm sure you've all been in the Castle Court and our granny and everything like that. So please give a big round of applause and a big welcome to Anne Corcoran. You're welcome, man. I hope you have a Now, what can we say about Henry? Henry is a, he's like our lord between the two thieves. He's in between the two girls there, so he is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this man has been involved in the whole area of entertainment for as many years as you want to remember, or he cared to remember, he's been involved, ladies and gentlemen, he's involved in the Castle Bar Song Contest. Uh, back all those years when it was, and you, you were the director, Henry, back, what year? 19, 1981, and it won, it won a, 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 an award that year. 
He's met them all. He's met Westlife. He's introduced Rod Stewart on stage. Characters. Rod Stewart. That's, well, that's, geez, there's a man here, he's after breaking his arm already. And he wasn't even playing rugby. Yeah. He's introduced Rod Stewart on stage. He's been to Nash, uh, Nashville. He's been everywhere you like, ladies and gentlemen. He's been involved in entertainment. He's a journalist. He's a broadcaster. He's involved, he writes a, a weekly column for the Mayo News, ladies and gentlemen. So please, will you give a, a big round of applause and a welcome to Henry McGlade, who also knows one or two things about dancing. I could go be going on here about him all night. Now, are you all happy? Are you ready for a bit of dancing? You might as well to get off out here. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we want to say hello to Brian Gibbons down there. He's, he's a scrutineer because all the votes have to be tallied and the money has to be tallied and the judges' votes have to be tallied and all that type of thing. But Brian is our independent scrutineer to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Well, let's start off, ladies and gentlemen. We've got our first, just to get you in the mood, we got our first group dance of the night, all right? Let me introduce you. That's it, we want to see a few faces. Okay. Stop shouting at Parik. He's the dance tutor. He's central to this, I guess. Whoever owns 12MO17, it was the 17th care born in 2012. <laughs> Must have been born after midnight. It's causing a serious obstruction. It's constipated and it's outside the door. So will somebody, seriously, 12MO17, whoever owns it, whoever's lucky enough to own a car as new as that, will you, will you shift it as quick as you can? All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, our first group dance of the night, we want to introduce to you Sheila Feeney and Marcus Kane. We want Tina O'Doherty, Peter Harkin, Janine Oban, Porrick Thomas, Sarah Kane, Michael Flannery, Stephanie Lally, and Rory O'Connor. Will you please raise the roof and welcome them on stage?
Yeah, I'm a big machine baddie. So hit me up when you pass through. I give you something bigger than to tell your past too. Swag on him, but when you drag casual, I mean it's almost unbearable. Hundred years not there with her. Pull up on side, it's too bad. Nothing like your leg, he too square for you. He don't smack me, say that pull your hair like. So I jail watch, hand wait for you to salute you. Dip pimp, not many women can refuse. Dip pimp, and I'm a nice guy, but don't get it confused. Dip pimp. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause as they come off the stage for our first group dance. They were fantastic. Show your appreciation. Weren't they fantastic? Well done, well done. You were great. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we go any further, we're going to introduce you to the President of Ireland, Michael D. Higgins. Jesus, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It is great to be here. How are you? I shall stop talking. Now, before we start, I want us, did you see Enda over in the White House? Himself and Finola. They'll take it. If you flash again, I'll flash back. Well, later on. There's to be no more photographs for security reasons. Social security reasons. Now, before our first couple come on, can I, I just want to, uh, we'll say the Fine Gael Creed. So, all kneel down and face towards Ballantubber. <laughs> I believe... Shh, shh, shh. This is, this is, this is as good as mass tomorrow morning. I believe in Enda, the Taoiseach Almighty, creator of jobs unseen. <laughs> I believe in Mickey Noonan, Minister for Tax, born of the Fine Gael Party, suffered under John Bruton, <laughs> was criticised, survived, resigned, and was re-elected. He rose again to the party. <laughs> he sits at the right hand of Enda. <laughs> he shall come to tax the living and the dead. <laughs> Knock off your mobile phone, Ann. I believe in one Fine Gael party, the forgiveness of Phil Hogan, Alan Shatter, and James Riley, and life everlasting. Amen. And another, will we go into the spirituality of it? Moses told the people of Israel, pick up your shovels, mount your asses and camels, for I will lead you to the promised land. Nearly 5,000 years later, <laughs> Bertie Hearn told the Irish people, Lay down your shovels, sit on your asses. <laughs> Smoke a camel, for this is the promised land. <laughs> Twenty years later, Michael Noonan is stealing your shovels, kicking your asses, raising the price of camels, and mortgaging the promised land. <laughs> ah, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, all right, thank you very much. Well. Oh, yeah, we have. We have to have Michael D, so we have. Ladies and gentlemen, our first couple, we're going to have a little bit of VTR on them. We're going to have, they're a married couple, which is unusual for this job, so it is. <laughs> so will you please welcome on stage, after the little bit of VTR, Noreen and Paddy Tony, all the way from Ogar, yeah! <laughs>
Come over here and look, come over here and look, because we have to look at the, 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 you see the, you see the tree here? They're uh, agitator, adjudicators. I don't know what's the same. Noreen, did you learn them steps in Tesco? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Well, rumor has it, Noreen, now, rumor has it, Noreen, that, that Paddy used to give you, he, he, he'd give you a big bat this morning. Before, for, you know. <laughs> he obviously didn't. <laughs> the neighbors had to come in. Paddy, I don't know over around a hog hour, anyone can bat anyone's wife, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Paddy, what? What in the name of God did you bring the woman in in a, as they say out in Connemar, a fuel barra? Well, Laurie said she'd like a ride on the stage, so I thought the fuel barra was the next best thing. <laughs> it's not often I'm stuck for words now, but I don't know. <laughs> Because this is about dancing, and just go, well, they're a married couple, so you can, you know. Anything is on the menu for the night. <laughs> and you can, I would like the adjudicators to disregard that last remark about, about uh, riding or whatever. <laughs> and what did you think? Have you a microphone there, Anne? Yeah, sorry. Um, the I think the song was the Elizabethan waltz, and um, they danced beautifully around the floor. It was like the king meeting the queen, and the steps were very nice, and the wheelbarrow was an added bonus. Well done. And it's very nerve-wracking, the first dance, individual couple coming out, and I thought they did extremely Absolutely. well. Well done, Anne. Now, we'll, we'll, we'll ask Margaret. Margaret? Paddy and Noreen, well done on your first performance on stage. Uh, perfect timing. Perfect uh, move together, and you mirrored each other's steps on the floor, which was very good. I really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Helen, yeah, thank you very much, Ma Henry, you look so French tonight, <laughs> Henry. <laughs> oh, you look like François Hollande. Oh, but who tonight is going to be well. your Julie Gaillet? Oh. <laughs> All right, Henry. Well, after today's game, obviously, we're very Irish after that great win in uh, Paris today. Now, uh, get back to the dance, uh, Noreen and Paddy, I thought the wheelbarrow entrance was great because it set the tone for the evening, that the evening is about fun and frolics, and you got everybody in that mood uh, this evening. Now, the, um, the dance itself, the um, chorus of the Hebrew slaves, it's a difficult dance to do to a waltz. It's not one we're very familiar with. And to do this that, Henry, I, thought full of was, knowledge. Go on. I thought it was very brave. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's, it's an operatic number. And to do that as a waltz, I think you, you glided around the floor. You did it very well. I love the dress, uh, the lady in red, Noreen. And of course, Paddy, the matching oh. dicky, the flashing dicky. And I can see where you're coming from, that there's something happening tonight later on so uh, I have to say uh, for an opening number well done it was fantastic and a great start. come on Henry I always thought that a Hebrew was a male tea bag but I obviously got it wrong now can we have can we have the votes of the jury there you are ladies and gentlemen once again, ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't easy because they had to wait a little while. There was a couple of technical difficulties, but they'd done so with aplomb. They'd done very well. So please, once again, show your appreciation for Noreen and Paddy Tony, all the way from Argyle. You were fantastic. Shake hands with me. Paddy has sheep. So if I was nice to them, I'd get a free lamb. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen? Did you enjoy that? Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's please welcome to the stage, and we're going to have great fun. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Would you please welcome, I know they're a little bit nervous, so do give them a big round of applause, Deirdre Hines and James Finnerty. <laughs>
Uh, come on out here. Come on over here. No, 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 come here. Come on, Almighty. We want to be on camera. Now, ladies and gentlemen, weren't they fantastic? Give them a big round of applause. I think they were great. Teardra. You know that last bit now when your man was on the ground and you put the, the heel on him? Yes. Is that what bank managers do when you go in in arrears of a loan? Absolutely. She actually, Deirdre was telling me earlier that anybody that has loan arrears at Ulster Bank, it's all wiped out tonight. It's all done. James, are you all right? Not too bad, no, it's over. It's not easy. You're dying. I'm dying. Under pressure. Oh well, yeah, under pressure, and you know, wearing a white suit can be a devil under pressure. Right? <laughs> I know myself. <laughs> the healing, oh, that's women for you. When they get you down, they'll walk all over you. But you know what I heard now? You're not going to be the dear That when you were walking the cows up by the abbey, yeah. that they all genuflect and pray, and they were praying that you for a good performance tonight, that you wouldn't be annoyed with them in the morning. He was that nervous this morning, ladies and gentlemen. He was milking a cow, and one of the cows turned around, and she says, if you hold on, I'll jump up and down. <laughs> and could we have a little something to say from our adjudicator? How can I comment after that comment? Um, Lovely footwork. I love the sailor outfit and uh, Dolly Parton dress. Um, it, it's a uh, style of the 1940s, I think, and the, st the step, steps were very good. They were synchronizing well. You seem to be enjoying it, which is the most important thing. It was very, very good. Well done. A few tricky turns there, and you, you, you took them off very well. Well done. All right, Margaret, we'll, we'll, we'll let the ladies go first. And uh, well done, dear John James. Um, I loved your outfits, uh, very fitting to the dance, lovely dance techniques, and I must say that your steps were very well perfected. Um, you enjoyed what you were doing as well, great energy as well, excellent performance. Margaret, thanks very much. Henry, I want to hear no, hear no more about the Hebrew slaves now. We have enough of that. <laughs> Well, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this song. I love this song, The Candyman, uh, Christina Aguilera. It's, it's from the 40s, from the big band era, the war years, and you got into that mood with the sailor outfit, and of course the style, the bobby socks and all that. It's the lovely style of the 40s, and I think you performed it very well. It, for the audience down there to watch it, it's great to see a couple come out and do a dance that they can actually do well and have all the moves, and I thought the finishing thing at the end was excellent. And well done, and you've done Ballantober proud. Thank you very much, Henry. This will be in Mayo News next week. The whole lot of it, cover to cover, wall to wall, forget about everything else. Now, can we have your votes, ladies and gents, of the jury for Deirdre and for James? James, hello, you can retire from the bank, you can sell the cows. Give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, weren't they fantastic? Well done, well done, you can go now. Now, well that's good, bring the brush, and brush, and scoop, good lad, run with the brush, quick, I'll give you a little up on the back. There you are, ladies and gentlemen, now, let's welcome to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, our next couple. We have a ball girl, and I think we have, we probably have a ball and trouble lad. We have Catherine Flanagan and Barry Finnegan. Now.
Over here. Shh. Christ Barry. I never, I mean, you weren't born, you were quarried. You're a horse and cart of a man. They said you were in goal. God bless the cart. I'm telling you, honest to God. And tell me, all, all about, you're a plumber by depression. Depression, yeah. The boom hit us. I'd say if I had your money, I'd burn my own. I'd say you made money in the good time. Catherine, you, oh, I will go easy on you, don't worry. Porrick, I met Porrick Hughes earlier, and he says, he's down there <laughs> in his shirt, and if he wears it long enough, it will come back into fashion. <laughs> Did you? You bought it? <laughs> I, bought, I bought him that shirt. Huh? We will not fall out, Captain. We will not. You're a bell supporter. You're a foreign national. You're a kind of a foreign national in Ballantubar. Oh, I am indeed. And you support Aston Villa and he supports Liverpool. That's right, yeah. And when Aston Villa would be playing Liverpool, would there be, have to be separate rooms? No, no, because we're usually at the game. So. Well, <laughs> and do you just stay up all night or what? <laughs> Nine times out of ten, it's a draw, so we're both happy. Oh, I see. Oh, it's a draw. And what about the game? <laughs> that too. All oh, right, okay. Because Park is supposed to be looking at windows, you know, <laughs> window shopping and everything like that. There you are. Margaret, we'll start with you. We'll start with the ladies all the time. So, Thank Margaret, you. could we have your comments, my beautiful? No problem. Thank you. Catherine and Barry, an excellent performance again. Footloose is the name of the song, but certainly you know Footloose there at all. Uh, great timing, great posture, balance, worked well on the dance floor. Very good. I really enjoy that performance. Thank you. Well, thank you. And Catherine and Barry, as Margaret said, no, it might be Footloose, but not too many loose feet there. It was excellent. And I love that dance song. Um, it reminds us of the discos of years ago, but oh, I like the great entrance onto the stage there, the adrenaline. Oh, yeah. He took a big leap of faith there jumping onto that stage, but well done. And I love the rhythm and it was good style, good step work. Um, you seem to be enjoying it. Well done. Thanks very much. And, uh, Henry, you look very uh, presidential with those glasses on. Eh? You know, you're like a man that couldn't make it all the way to the Auras. <laughs> no, uh, Footloose, it's a classic song from the 80s, still hugely popular on the disco scene, the party scene. I thought Barry's entrance was fantastic. Came out of nowhere. I thought it took everybody by surprise. Um, I thought there was great raw energy in the song. Um, it was um, Catherine. You were hot. Uh, oh, oh! Oh, Henry! Barry. <laughs> hold on, hold on! Barry... Uh, no, 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 that remark will have to be withdrawn. <laughs> Barry oh, Jesus was... Uh, sake. <laughs> Barry was Mr. Cool uh, in this. And um, the, only, the only downside to it, I have to say, was I was just slightly disappointed you didn't have the 80s gear on because it, it just to revisit the 80s, I thought that would have finished it off lovely. But apart from that, I thought it was fantastic. It was sex on legs. And it was, it was, it certainly would got the crowd going there tonight. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, no, no, yeah. Mm. He hadn't, she had, they hadn't 80s gear on. Well, you made up for it, Henry. <laughs> I'm disgusted. <laughs> if I could, I'd have them removed. <laughs> it's a fun night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Actually, Henry was telling me earlier, I forgot to mention it in the intro. He was the man that brought Daniel O'Donnell to Mayo for the first time, and what was it, 23? There was only 23 at it. Uh, that, Jesus, you're deadly, Henry. So. That was in the 1880s. Go on, anyways, give us the votes. Yes, okay. Oh, they're copying each other. <laughs> Give a big round of applause. Catherine and Barry, they were fantastic. Well done. Shh, shh, shh. 
we would ask all these who are using, oh, Porrick is leaving. He's emotional. He's emotional for drink. <laughs> Jesus is all over, huh? Ask those using those horns or whatever they call them to desist from using. You could deafen someone. Ladies and gentlemen, come on, we're nearly, we're at the fourth. Are you enjoying yourselves? It's a fun night, we're having great fun and we intend to have more fun, please, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the stage, Leanne Riley and the one and only MJ Reddy. Stumble to the kitchen, pour myself a cup of ambition And yawn and stretch and try to come to life Jump in the shower and the blood starts pumping Out on the streets the traffic starts jumping With folks like me on the job from nine to five Working nine to five Just a step on the boss man's ladder But you've got dreams he'll never take away On the same boat with a lot of your friends Waiting for the day your ship will come in And the tide's gonna turn and it's all gonna roll your way Working nine to five Hold on now a second. That's jumping up, throwing your legs around a fella, Leanne. That's kind of dangerous. Oh, it's magnetism, it is. Magnetism. It's marvellous, is it? Oh, there you are. Well, is it, uh, weren't they brilliant, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Absolutely, I'm telling you. I heard a comment back there, the county manager is here. Is it the first time he's seen MJ taking off two jackets in one minute? <laughs> you know, you know, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, Leanne, before we, we get to you, I, um, MJ is from Eris and he's, he's now in Sconston, Cara James, so he is. But wait till I tell you a good one. He was, I was asking him earlier, you know, you know, you know your water meters that are going in? Hmm. He says it takes five people to put in a water meter. Proper, proper. Properly, yeah. One, one, one to put in the water meter and four to hold down the household. <laughs> Is that right, MJ? So they say, no, I was water in with three, but... Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. You're, you're some man from one man. It's no bother. I never knew you could dance. I, I saw you dancing a couple of times with a shovel. Yeah, with, with pints. <laughs> and, and, and with tin pints. But, uh, it's the first. Uh, yeah, yeah, I haven't seen you dancing with a shovel or breastfeeding the handle of a shovel, but I never seen that. <laughs> Leanne, did you enjoy it? Absolutely. Fantastic. And you do it again? I'm glad it's over now, but I'm, I'm happy enough with it. <laughs> there you are, I'm telling you. All the way from Clogher. Right, let's start. Where we'll start with Henry. We'll, we'll, we'll give you first, <laughs> say, in your 80s suit. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, um, I thought that was, once, once you hit the dance floor, I thought it was great fun. I thought it was brilliant. Uh, the whole idea where you, you didn't know what was going to happen next. Uh, there was a touch of the Charleston, the jive, the uh, line dancing, there was a touch of everything in it. There's a song out at the moment called Leanne Loves to Dance, and you certainly <laughs> love to dance, Leanne. MJ, I would give you... Um, I would give you an extra point because you managed to do the jive without stepping on her toes. So that shows you the amount of practice you put in and the amount of work you've done. And overall, I thought it was a great performance. Fun, great night. Well, in fairness, Henry, when you work for the council, you learn not to step on toes. <laughs> you know what I mean, Henry? You have to be very careful in there. There's a lot of egos in there, and I worked in the fucking place, so I did not know it. And, well, watch the head, Anne. Watch the head. Oh, bless his hand. Well, to start with, I thought M. Joe was going to come at me at the shovel. I was glad he left it down here at the side of the table. But they say, dancing, it is said, dancing is the art of pulling your feet away faster than you can step on your partner. So, well done. There was a few tricky moves there, and I was afraid Leanne was going to get stuck in between the two legs, but I'm glad she slid right through there. Yeah. Did you ever try that yourself, Anne? <laughs> <laughs> or if yourself and Henry came out, to just see how you get on. No, it's, it's just something now. You know yourself, Anne. Sorry. <laughs> MJ, you're well representing the May County Council. You did them proud. And maybe you give up the day job and the nine to five is gone now from now on. Stay dancing. Uh, yeah. MJ says eight to half four. <laughs> you know, honestly, God. Margaret, please. Thank you. MJ and, and Leanne, well done on that lovely performance. Um, when I came here earlier on today, I came into the hall and I met MJ and he had the same outfit on him, so he must have much <laughs> in his wardrobe or something. But well done, MJ and Leanne, mm. it was really lovely. Uh, lovely dance techniques, a lot of movement and a lot of energy there. Good sense of timing. I loved your performance. Thank you. Yeah. No, in fairness. Yeah, that's nice, Margaret. Yeah. I was talking to MJ's wife and she said the night she met him below an Eris, he was on the dance floor and she said the only thing that wasn't moving was his bowels. <laughs> but you know yourself, I suppose. Yeah. Now, could we have the vote? Oh, oh, she has to smoke. <laughs> It's small. Can we have votes? Oh, very good. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, you please put your hands together and give Leanne and MJ a big round of applause. Fantastic. Well done, MJ. Well done, MJ. I Jesus, MJ, I'll tell you. You'll see better legs under a sideboard. <laughs> now, who is hat? Oh, Henry. You wouldn't need a hair hat, Henry, because Henry, your head is hard enough. Huh? <laughs> now, there you are. You take that off. And that's uh, Declan Murphy, who's mad to get a woman tonight. <laughs> and uh, who's this lad? Murphy, Brian. Oh, Brian Murphy. And you're mad to get a woman too, but not the same woman. Oh, there you are. <laughs> there you are. Now, actually, you know, we have a bit of shifting to do back here, so we have bits and pieces. You know, well, they have shifting to do <laughs> before they do the real shifting of the night. Oh, Jesus, a great old. I'm telling you, I'm enjoying myself now. Are you enjoying yourselves? Yeah. Have we any visitors in? Yeah. Where are we from? Cork. Sorry. Longford. Where else? Huh? Dublin Mead. The Mead crowd, hold on, Mead. After 1996, get out. 
Oh, there's two girls. Where are you from, girls? You're from Westport. I'd say, when you never get that, you won't even know who your names are, not to mind where you're from. No, no, I won't bother with that. No, no. Declan, oh, good lad, Declan. And his shovel. Not that he makes much use of it. <laughs> oh, geez, that's the shovel that has daisy time with him, Jay. <laughs> it had to go for the medical, that shovel. <laughs> they said it had arthritis. <laughs> Never left the back of the lorry all the time. <laughs> Right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we've nearly come to that, to a break. I'm sure you'll be delighted to know we're going to have a break, ladies and gentlemen, after we see the gorgeous moves of Teresa Byrne all the way from Clare and Nigel Mannion, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dancers for sale. <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry, you have what? I already bought her. Oh, you bought her? I say Kevin Burton didn't let her go cheap. Uh, there's nothing cheap about him. Oh, I'm telling you, he's a devil for the last, the last show. Oh, and now we'll leave it there. We might, honest to God. Oh, Jesus, Anthony. Come over here now. Come over here. Come over here, we face. Over this way, because Mr. Gallagher wants us. See the fellow with the white beard? You have to keep looking at him. See the fellow that looks like Osama bin Laden? Oh, I see him, yes. That's it. Now, what is a lovely girl from in this diamond doing up here? I'm still asking myself that, Frank. <laughs> well, that's an answer of sorts, sort of, I suppose. And did you, did you come to see your lovely husband dancing in Brafe? Oh, I did indeed, yeah. He was very good. Oh, he's telling you. Do you see the moves? Jesus, I'm telling you, he was flying, so he was. Absolutely flying. And what did I tell you now? Tell me here and tell me no more. When did you join the Comanches? How? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah. Nigel. Yes. You're a paramedic. I am, surely, yeah. There's loads of girls down there that love mouth to mouth. I'm sure they are, but sure, look at, I'm married now, so... You're funny. I have to use other devices. 
Right, okay. Do you want to expand on that, as they say in the leave and start question? Uh, sure, a few points we know later on, she might do something about it. And it's herself here tonight? Yes, she's down there somewhere. And is there a big night ahead of her? Oh, absolutely. All right. Well, you can take your hands from around me, so. I'm still, I'm still training. You're still training? I'm still training. <laughs> oh, you're, you're all the way from Ballyhonas? Ballyhane. Oh, Ballyhane. Oh, Christ, I have Ballyhonas down here. Sure, there's no difference. <laughs> and what's this about, I'm going to nail it? Tell us all about that. Well, Porrick knows exactly what I'm going to do. The camera's out here. Oh, they, well, sure, Porrick's behind me, like. Porrick. Sure, Porrick is behind everyone. I sure know, yeah, but I, I promised him I'd nail it tonight. And I think he did nail it, and so did Teresa. Fantastic. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, before we go to our adjudicators, speaking of Porrick, Porrick Munro, he uh, he's, he's going to be given jive lessons. He's an accomplished dance tutor, not alone in Mayo, but up along the Midwest and everything like that. And he's a world-class angler. Did you know that? Well, you might react. <laughs> in fairness to him, and he's going to have, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to have uh, jive lessons in the Ballantubber Community Centre starting, I think they're at least starting on the 20th of March, and everybody is welcome. And when you see the lovely dancing here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, isn't dancing a great kind of, it's a great way to pass time. It's a, it's a great social experience, isn't it? Absolutely. My wife mightn't agree with that now. Okay, well, you can sort that out with your wife. <laughs> now, <laughs> Anne. Nigel and Teresa, well done. I just love the great Gatsby style dress and the little feather and um, the lovely black and red as well to go with it. It's probably one of the nicer costumes tonight. They're well coordinated. Um, lovely Charleston number. The footwork was great. Um, you seem to be enjoying yourself, and that's, that's good too. So well done to both of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anne. Margaret. Nigel and Teresa, that was lovely. Really enjoyed that performance. Um, I was just going to co comment this time as well about the choreography, and it's been brilliant so far uh, on every one of the performances, but I like this one most of all. So I pay a good hand to all the dancers. They've really been very good, but I really enjoyed that performance. Lovely costume, Teresa. Really lovely. I love the style of it and everything. Um, you seem to enjoy immensely what you're doing, and I'd say keep it up. You're doing really well. Thank you, Margaret. Henry. Well, I'm a big fan of the, the Roaring Twenties, the music, the classiness of it. Uh, you dress for the occasion. I love the style. It was cheeky, it was classy. It was, everything should be, the, the foot moves were brilliant. The timing was very good. Um, it was a fabulous display of the Charleston, as it should be danced, and it would transport you back to that era for anybody watching, listening tonight, that would have enjoyed that and it would have brought them back to that era, which was absolutely fabulous. I think you did a brilliant job tonight. Well done, Henry. Well said. Well said. You know your apples and oranges when it comes to dancing. Okay, can we have your votes, please? Oh! Dial 999. What a vote, ladies and gentlemen. Almost the perfect 10. Well done. To Teresa and to Nigel, give them a big round of applause. Well done, Teresa. Well done. You were fantastic. Nigel, God bless. Good luck. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we're going to take a five-minute break for ten minutes, and we'll see you in 20 minutes. <laughs> Anna, we're going to take, take five to ten minutes. Now, will you be back? Before we go, ladies and gentlemen, we do want to acknowledge uh, Siobhan Costello, New Street, Ballinrobe. She's... All the lovely hairstyles, not including my own, because I have very little hair left. But all the lovely hairstyles have been here working all day. And well done to Siobhan, and we owe a big debt of gratitude. <laughs> if it can wasp at me. <laughs> we owe a big debt of gratitude, ladies and gentlemen, because I suppose today would be one of the busiest days in New Street, Ballon Road, but she committed herself to this, and I think she has done a magnificent job, as has Sinead Scahill, ladies and gentlemen. She's done a fantastic job. All the makeup and the beauty products and the combination have been uh, supplied with her craft by Sinead Scahill, ladies and gentlemen. And she's of the Skin Deep Institute in Claremorris. 
So well done to Sinead and well done to Siobhan and we're delighted that they're here with us tonight. Take a little break for yourselves. We got lots more to come and enjoy yourselves and thank you for being a wonderful audience. God bless you, thank you. This is a dancing show and it's St. Patrick's weekend and we couldn't let it pass without having something Irish and something that we're very, very proud of and something that makes you proud to be Irish. And for me personally, very, very proud to come from the parish I come from. And I'm sure the people of Ballantubber, the people of Moore Hall, and the people of Carnacon will be very, very proud of this act. It's very, very special. So I'd ask for silence down at the bar and full attention on the stage. Silence down there, please. Full attention on the stage. Please give a rousing reception to Jennifer Golden, Owen Hughes, and Amy Walsh, world class dancer. <laughs>
That was very, very, very special. Very special. Very special. And apart from step dancing, we have another lovely Irish tradition, lovely Irish dance, Shannos dancing. And it's wonderful to see that Shannos dancing is passed on to a younger generation. And there's younger people that can Shannos dance. And tonight we have two wonderful young exponents of that. They starred recently in the Admiral show on, on the life of Admiral Brown Foxford and they, they star in that frequently. And we have them here tonight. They're neighbours of our own from Patry, Molly and Johnny Granahan. So when they come on stage, give them a rousing reception and be generous in your applause. Molly and Johnny, they're both nine and 10. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We can't let the the evening um, go. I mean, Ballantubber, Karen O'Connor and Moore Hall have produced Amy Walsh, Owen Hughes and Jennifer Golden. And they set this stage on fire. There's no question. It's, I think they deserve a huge round of applause. Weren't they fantastic? We're celebrating the feast of our national saint. We do it in song and in dance and in storytelling and in music. And I'll tell you something, they can go anywhere in the world, hold their heads up high because they were simply fantastic. And how about it, ladies and gentlemen, for Johnny and Molly Granahan all the way from Patrick, two young kids. Out there, ladies and gentlemen, Shano Stanton is lovely. There's something lovely about Shano Stanton. It's very earthy and everything like that. And I think we're going to go over. We have to ask our judges, uh, maybe for a, a, a comment. Henry, would you just? I know you were down there. You saw this. Just yeah. tell us what you know. I mean, your thoughts on what we've just seen. Well, we start with the uh, <laughs> river dance. And uh, I thought the, the dancing, you can see the reaction from the audience. They got a standing ovation. And I tell you, if, if, if uh, John McCulgan gets to see these kids dancing, yes. he'll sign them up for river dance, no question about it. They were absolutely superb. The crowd loved them. They got a standing ovation. We love them. And, uh, it, it, and as you said, on this, our national holiday weekend, to absolutely. see that kind of dancing here is just uh, a plus for tonight's show. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. And would you, do, and do you, would you like, just maybe, I think, I think it was great. I mean, you've seen an awful lot, we'll say, in, in the likes of the Castle Court I did, but in I your just, time. Just, I, I think uh, Henry here is beginning to sound like Louis Walsh a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he's an expert. No, it was absolutely, anyway. oh, he's a friend of his. Um, no, they were absolutely fantastic, uh, 100%. Um, it really got the crowd growing and their feet work is just incredible. And Margaret? Excellent performance from the, all the youngsters and I'm sure they're performing again over the weekend and I wish them very well. Well, just as, as, as let's take a benchmark on this. Can we have your votes on Amy, Owen and Jennifer? There you are. That's a perfect 10. There they are. Take a bow because the three of you were fantastic. Wow. Come on, show your appreciation, ladies and gentlemen, because... 
Let's put it this way. Anybody who's here tonight that has had the pleasure of watching you, anybody who's visiting, be they from Mead or wherever they're from, we were having a bit of crack with the Mead people earlier on, it doesn't matter. Isn't it, a, isn't it great to think, ladies and gentlemen, that we can put on a show here and we can bring people of their age out here and they can do what they do and they do it with such grace and such style and with such ease of effort. Fantastic, well done, take a bow. Now, can we have your votes for Johnny and Molly Granahan? Hold on a second, Henry. We can't hear you. Oh, yeah, sorry. Henry. Sorry, uh, okay. apologies on that. It's my fault. Uh, for the Shannon's dancers, can I just say that the Shannon dancing today is the new hip hop. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible to watch. And to see such young people as it at their age. And this is the future that's keeping our tradition alive here, particularly in the west coast of Ireland, where it all originated from. And to see this young couple here uh, doing the Shannon's dances, I tell you something, it was just spectacular. Uh, Molly. <laughs> Hold on a second now. Molly and, and Johnny, see your man. He's the Simon Cowell here in Mayo. Oh, that fella, he, is, he could bring, I mean, he knew everyone back. He knew, he knew Johnny Cash and he knew Elvis Presley when he was alive the first time. <laughs> so he's the king. So he could make it. You mightn't have to work a day in your life. And what do you think? Uh, they were super. He's so handsome with his curly hair and she's like a little princess. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. Margaret. Excellent performance, really. I really enjoyed that. And I think they're brothers and, brother and sister. I've seen them yeah. dance at Clamoris before, and very well done. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Come on, let's get... Can we have your votes? Watch this. Yeah. Are you delighted? Yeah. Thank you. Well, I think, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Patrick, Johnny and Molly, Granahan and their mom is down there I met them and once again they just done themselves their families and Patrick they done themselves proud absolutely well done take a big bow because you deserve it there you are now hold on out I've, I've loads of notes here Wait a second, I want to see what I mean here. Oh yeah, okay. Now before I go any further, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, shh, 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 shh. can we just remind you that next uh, Friday night, the 21st, we're going to have Shanos, celebrity Shanos dancing in the welcome in. We had it last year, ladies and gentlemen. Do you remember it? Oh, are you in it? Come up here and give us up. <laughs> When next Friday, you haven't perfected it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's in conjunction with Mayo hosting the Connacht Fla. The Connacht Fla is a very, very big event, and maybe way down the line, we don't know there may be bigger events. It deserves your support. So next Friday night, if you're doing nothing, we had a fantastic show last year, ladies and gentlemen. This year, it's going to top it. Uh, so Celebrity Shannon's dancing next Friday night, starting at eight o'clock in the Welcome In. Will you go? Yeah. That girl will go anyway, because she's dancing it. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not, another, another great night of celebration and a great way to round off the week, ladies and gentlemen, the St. Patrick's Week. Now, let's get on with the next part of the show. We're going to have our second... We're going to have our second group dance, ladies and gentlemen. Are we back in mode? Are we ready? So, ladies and gentlemen, Will you please welcome on stage for our second group dance, Noreen and Paddy Tony, Deirdre Hines, James Finnerty, Catherine Flanagan and Barry Finnegan. And by the way, Margaret Loftus, where's the big banner that you spent a fortune? Down there at the back, we can't see it. Fabulous banner down there, ladies and gentlemen, supporting Catherine Flanagan. Leanne Riley, MJ Ruddy. And Teresa Byrne and Nigel Mannion, and they're going to give us the group dance to open up the second part of the show. Thank you. Hey, 
Everybody get up. Dance. Am I fake? I'm not able to dance. There's a spring gun on me. Did you enjoy that? Weren't they great? Ladies and gentlemen, Noreen, Paddy, Tully, Deirdre, Hines, James, uh, Finnerty, Catherine Flanagan, and Barry Finnegan, Leanne Riley, and MJ Ruddy, and Teresa Byrne, and Nigel Mannion. That was our second group dance, and we think they done well. What do you think? Absolutely. Now, we're coming to the second part of the show, ladies and gentlemen. So, will you please give a big Ballantrubber or wherever you're from, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Sheila Feeney and Marcus King. Wow! You make me feel so young You make me feel so spring has sprung And every time I see you grin I'm such a happy individual The moment that you speak I wanna go play hide and seek I wanna go and bounce the moon Just like a toy balloon 
and I are just like a couple of tots running across a meadow, picking up lots of forget-me-nots. You make me feel so young. You make me feel so spring has sprung. And every time I see you grin, I'm such a happy individual. The moment that you speak, I want to go and play hide and seek. I want to go and bounce the moon just like a toy balloon. You and I are just like a couple of tots running across a meadow. Lots of forget-me-nots You make me feel so young You make me feel there are songs to be sung Bells to be rung Wonderful fling to be flung And even when I'm old and gray I'm gonna feel the way I do today Cause you, you make me feel so young No. Come back, Marcus. Come back. Where, where's the ash plant? Come over here. Come, come over here, Marcus. And let the hare see the hound. In, Michael, in closer to the agitators. <laughs> ah. I suppose I'd speak. Sheila. From Longford to Lufferton. How did that happen? Pardon? How did it happen? For, you got from Longford to Lufferton. Uh, Balan Tuberman, I guess, <laughs> brought me here. Oh, he did. Where'd you, actually, where did you meet him? Who, Marcus? <laughs> oh, no, no, Marcus. You got to, you'd meet Marcus in the bank or out after cattle or anywhere. No, your husband. Oh, in Sligo, in college. Oh, in college. Oh, isn't that nice, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Love stories do come true in college. And she ended up anyways. And, you're very, and is, there, is there long for people here tonight? Yeah. All three of them. <laughs> All right. Stand up and wave to us. Put up the lights. Oh, there they are. They're in the front row. Oh, is that Mammy? <laughs> and is that Daddy? Yeah. Are you very proud, Mammy? And what about Daddy? He's proud and all. Well, you're very, very welcome. And are you enjoying your night? Give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. And why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they be proud? Marcus. My oh, Jesus, you're a corporation of a man. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Honest to God. Honest to... Come here, how is the fireman going? Bad. <laughs> Christ, you're not making it easy on me, Marcus. You could say the cattle are down, they might be up next week. What are you, is it cows or dry cattle or what have you? A little bit of everything, you know. Jesus, you know you're a bank manager. You'll get no information out of you. Huh? Well, between now being a retired bank manager, a farmer, and you still like the odd sauce finished out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very occasional now. Yeah. I'll have one tonight with the help of God. You will. I'd say you'll have a creamery can full. <laughs> and you'll be bloody right. Give me a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Marcus Kent. He was absolute. And you were great, Sheila. Now, Henry... Oh. Put on your spectacles there Boys. and talk to us, baby. <laughs> You're starting with me, are you, Frank? Um, Frank Sinatra's You Make Me Feel So Young, music for lovers. Uh, I have to say the Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers of Ballantubber. <laughs> um, it, was, uh, it was full of elegance. It was smooth. Uh, the essence of romance. Uh, beautifully executed with uh, tremendous style and sophistication. Sheila, I loved your dress. You, 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 you looked the part uh, for Swinging Lovers and Marcus Top Hat and Tails, the era of swing and romance. What can I say? Absolutely fabulous. I loved it. Uh, Henry, <laughs> you were drinking at half time. <laughs> 
Because you're gone all out soft and mushy. Like marifat peas that you'd soak overnight. Yes, I don't know. Well, I saw Bernadine down there. I'd say, you, you know, oh, Jesus, Henry, you're an old romantic at the back of us all, huh? Oh, just look, at he's blushing. We'd better look at him. And could you give us a more objective view for Jesus' sake? I think um, Henry said it all, but um, yeah, I love the dress, love the top, the, the, I was going to say the top tails and the hat, but the tails... That's not a dress, that's a suit. Um, Marcus seemed to be really enjoying himself there because he kept singing to, to Sheila, and he kept singing, you make me feel so young, so... <laughs> young is the word, was it? <laughs> well, hold on now, that's the name of the song as well, so he was really... I don't know how he's getting his breath there because he kept singing, but well done. Lovely footwork as well. Great stuff. Yeah, Thanks, Margaret, could you add to that? I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Sheila and Marcus, well done in your performance. I loved your dance style and everything. Sheila looks amazing in that dress. Her hair is beautiful and her shoes are very comfortable, which is good for her dancing. Lovely outfit. Marcus, you look like a man that be sure would be, you know, Picking all the lovely ladies up, not just. Oh, yeah. well, bank, here, bank manager loans Marcus, women. Yeah. Uh, you know, sorry? Yeah. Sorry? Bank managers loans. You bank know. managers. Oh, he's any, I tell you. Yes, yes, he yes. charm, I'm telling he'd you. charm anyone, oh, I'd say. Charm, yes. Lovely. It was a lovely performance by both of you, and I can see that you put a lot of work and a lot of hard effort into it. Very well done. Excellent performance. Uh, could we have the vote of the French jury? Henri? Oh, Henri. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. That's a good one. There isn't too much room for improvement. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please give it up for Sheila Feeney and Marcus King? You were fantastic. You have lovely toes. She's from Langford. She has myxomatosis. Her left toe is where her right toe should be. But we can cure all that. So we can. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, I think that was a really, really stylish opening. What do you think? Yeah? Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely fantastic. Right. Hot on their heels, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome to the stage Holly Mount's best, Tina O'Doherty. And... The Whiff of Spring is here with Peter Horkin, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the shark bay has such teeth, teeth, and he shows them early white. Just a jackknife has on, a black heat bay. And he keeps it out of sight You know when that shark bites With his teeth deep Scarlet billows start to spread the Fancy gloves though It's on that keep day So there's never, never a trace of breath Sidewalk, oh, Sunday morning, don't you know? Lots of body just losing light. And someone sneaking around the corner. Could that be our boy, Mac the Knight?
your grace. Come on out here. Come on out here. You have the hard bit over you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come over here. We want to be near the camera. Now, you're not to be looking at the girl's legs. You were warned about that at rehearsals, and you were told. You can look at my legs if you want to. Now, you, any, uh, now ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause? I know they're a bit nervous. Tino Dowdy and Peter Harkin, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, Peter. Happy days. Grace, yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot. Uh, and by the way, sh ladies and gentlemen, we've got to say that the beautiful, would you, what do you call them, shrubs? Do you call, they're not shrubs, what are they? What do you call them, Peter? You tell me what they are. Uh, flower and uh, cherry, dirty flower and cherry, yeah. And they, were, they, they, they came from the Hawkins Garden Centre, and don't they bedeck the back of this stage. And, uh, big round of applause, well done. Thank you very much. Okay. I looked at them. They're full of green fly. <laughs> so they're crawling. <laughs> Tina, come over here to me. You're from Hollymount. No, I'm not. Castlebar. Oh yeah, but you, were you in Hollymount at some stage? No, my father's from Hollymount. All right, well, okay, fair enough. Your father is from Hollywood, I'm sorry. But would you believe it now? And Tina has, how many donkeys? No, 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 tell us all about the donkeys that are at home. You have how many donkeys at home? Three. Three, Three. donkeys. Yes. Three donkeys. And we went out earlier this evening, and one of the donkeys wanted to wish her well. So would you just, we've just a little recording. Now, in donkey language, ladies and gentlemen, that's the best to look. <laughs> Give her a big <laughs> Come here. Did you have to take the carrot or stick approach with Peter? <laughs> the stick. <laughs> Jesus, we rehearsed this ten times. You were supposed to say the carrot. Early carrots to be bought in Harkins at a premium price. In fairness, Peter, it's lucky that Peter is here at all because he ate a daffodil bulb. He thought he was eating a garlic bulb. And he was in hospital, but the consultant said not to worry, he'll be out next spring. <laughs> Margrito, my beautiful. Would you like to comment on the dance? Oh, he's, he's mad to be beside her. <laughs> Tina and Peter, well done, and that was, that was a beautiful performance there, a joy to watch, really. Very elegant um, moves and everything like that, I really enjoyed it. Um, you, you used the floor very well to give all the steps and that, and I really enjoyed it. Lovely outfit, very well done. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much, Margaret. Um, Anne. Well done, Peter and Tina. I love the song, Mac the Knife. You are pretty razor sharp there. Um, the, uh, the costumes are gorgeous. Um, and you just glided along the floor. I love it. It's very hard to go from a quick step into a few turns like you did. And uh, you did it very well. Well done. Now, uh, Henry, if you have got over your romantic hot flush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peter and Tina, um, uh, as Anne said, this is a very difficult dance to perform because uh, to do a quick step with Mac the Knife. Um, first of all, I have to say that your outfits were fabulous. You look great on stage, a part of this setting. Uh, you performed it very well. You made it look easy, which is the sign of true professionals. And that, I have to give you that. You had panache, you had style. It was very creative. It was a joy to watch. And I loved the twirls and you had some great moves as well. Well, thank you, Henry. I thought twirls were manufactured by cabarets, but there you are. Can we have your marks? Oh, there you are. That's a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Would you please give it up for Tino Dowdy and Peter Horgan? I think they were simply magnificent. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome next to the stage Janine Hoban and Parik Thomas and all their followers are going to give them a big welcome here, ladies and gentlemen.
We have to go over to her and say, Cameron, come over here. Jesus God, you're a beast of a man. <laughs> no, save us. He's a lorry driver by depression. Is this the truth for you? <laughs> Thank Christ it's over. What? Thank Christ it's over. What? The lorry driving? No, the dancing. Well, that's over too. Oh, it is not. Not because Janine, you move so well together. You thought that, yeah? Oh. Now, Janine, I have to say... <laughs> Yes, Where are you originally from, darling? I'm from Kent. Oh, she's from Kent. All right. Come on, give her a big round of applause. <laughs> now, Janine, shh, 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 shh. Can we, there's a lot of noise over here. Just to say, Janine, this thing of throwing your legs up in the air, one towards the reek and what the other towards Dublin, does not go down well here. I'm sorry about that, yeah. Bit of fun. Fun for it. I'd love to see it again, though. <laughs> you're, 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 um, you're a vase. I am. And you're, you're, currently you're in, in uh, is it Ballyhollis or where? It's Western Brand Chickens. Myself and George look after the chickens in the mornings. You're a lovely chick yourself. <laughs> I wouldn't mind to be visiting you. <laughs> And you used to, you used to, you're a vet, so you used to go to all the local farmers and everything like that. I did, and there's a good few of them here tonight. <laughs> Jesus, there's a lot of fellas here tonight now who are only coming out to see you because they wouldn't come out here in a fit otherwise. So wasn't here. Did you enjoy yourself? Oh, we did. We had a great time. Thank you. Yeah. Now, come here, Paul. Like, is it easier driving lorries at Timber? Lord, well, it is. And that's not easy. It's easy, easier than this. I wouldn't have your job for all the tea in China. Sure, I know I'm not appreciated really, you know, by the people. And they're down there making funny remarks about me and laughing about me. Jesus, Henry has gone through his will there or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's after writing a letter. <laughs> Lord Henry, you'd want a be you know something? You'd want a slap of a dead cat. <laughs> Henry, could you give us your remarks? Now, and I want you to comment on this, you know, this throwing the legs up in there, John. That wouldn't go on in your time, would it? All right, uh, you want me to start, Frank? Uh, Pork and Janine, uh, in the mood, it's a, it's a classic number from the 40s, from the war years and that. Um, I, I thought you'd done it very well. You dressed for the occasion. I love your outfit, Janine. It was what you would have seen in those years, the war years and that. Um, I, I thought you got the audience in the mood for the number. I thought that was great. And um, it, you performed it very well. It was lively, it was vibrant. It's, um, it, you danced it to perfection. And as Frank said, I love the twists and the turns and the acrobatic stuff you did as well. It, that takes some work to do. And you oh, did it very doesn't. well. I thought it was great. She yeah. did us, and Janine says she's, she did that all the time. Yeah, it was great. She'd often do it now out at an old farmer in the middle yeah. of a barn, okay. you know, when the cow would be careful. And she'd throw, to take his mind off the cow, she'd throw her two legs up in the air. And one Wellington would go that way, and the other Wellington would go that way, and the cow would turn round, and by the time that the dance finished, she'd have calved. <laughs> and. Um, I think Henry said they got the crowd in the mood, but they also got into the groove, so well done. The costumes definitely matched the dance style, and they were excellent. And um, I loved the way you came on unexpectedly and threw away the boiler suits. It was an added bonus, so well done. Oh. Margaret. Thank you. Uh, Janine and Porrick, very well done. Uh, I was reared on a farm and I, I know for sure we never turned out like that any day <laughs> it was the wellies and the boots your um, outfits are fabulous really well done um, there was great energy between the two of you on the floor you danced very well as a couple um, what can I say excellent performance really well thank you so much Margaret. 
Thank you. Now, can we have your vote? Yeah. It's not too much trouble. Oh, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Well done to Janine Hoban. Well done. I'm pouring, Thomas. Weren't they fantastic? You reared in a farm, Margaret. You reared in a, on a farm. Oh, the old farmers, you know, loads of them here tonight. And loads of cattle. Uh, the farmer's great, though. You know, a farmer's definition of foreplay. Will I pull the curtains, Nora? <laughs> well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Jesus, we have. The lads are back. Look at that. Honest to God, huh? She says he wouldn't do it at home, that Murphy lad. Not to matter. And he's all business. Look at him now. Honest to God. Lord saves. And he, I was talking to the mother and he hardly knows how to dress himself. You know? <laughs> but he's a great lad. Besides, she says. Look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to the fourth dance of the evening. Please welcome Sarah Kane and Michael Flannery. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. For me, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. I want, I'm going to the judges straight away. I want two and a half marks deducted after each of them. It was completely a marvel. 
It was awful, sort of. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, come on! And we have to face, yeah, we have to face the fellow with the beard. Looking in. That's it. That's a speeding thing that the guards have. He could be a whistleblower. Sarah, did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was fantastic. It was my, more like, it was more like aerobatics there for a minute. <laughs> we do try. By God, I'll tell you, you do. I'm telling you. It was, I, 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 I thought you were sponsored by Ryanair. <laughs> Because there was no footwork to that, you spent most of your time up in the air. <laughs> we were all saying, will she have a safe landing? <laughs> and then, of course, being that you're a bookie, you were betting that she would have a safe landing. <laughs> I was, yeah. <laughs> Who dressed you? <laughs> Would you know you? Else. Huh? And everyone else. Is he, was he awful bad? Was he here to dress? A little bit of help from the rest of the guys backstage. All right, all right, I suppose he's managed to go. Well, come here, tell us. You were an All-Ireland Bowron player. Years ago. years ago, years ago, yeah. That was a treat. Who was it that said one time that a Bowron should be playing with, played with a, um, was it a pin knife? She's never heard that one now before. I heard that one now before. No, I actually think the Bowron, isn't the Bowron great, ladies? Isn't it, great, isn't it a great music, lens room? And it lends itself to a great towards Irish men. Did you enjoy it, Michael? I did, it was brilliant, yeah. Absolutely. Well, I'm telling you something. The song is because I am happy. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, you'll agree, both of them are very happy. What about it? Uh, Margaret, when you've finished writing love notes, could you face the audience? Face, face over here. Thank you. Thank you. Sarah, Michael, that was a wonderful performance. Um, not only can Michael dance, he can also sing as well. Very talented, excellent. Uh, Sarah is very energetic on the floor and very happy, smiley, loved what she was doing and I could see the whole energy building up between you, which is very good. Um, top class, really, it was my favourite of the night. Thank you, Margaret, thank you. Okay, Anne, yeah? Um, that's what I call Strictly Come Dance and Sarah, you stole the show. <laughs> Fabulous. Fabulous outfit, and I think Michael looks a little bit like uh, Michael Bublé, and he sings like him as well. But um, fabulous twists and turns in the air, and definitely a really good show. And you seem to be following the song. You were very happy out there, and you looked very happy and smiling all the time. So I thought it was great. Well done. Oh yeah, uh, of course. No, before you go to Henry now, that would be typical of Anne Corker. It couldn't be anyone like Big Tom or Nathan Carters. Have to be someone abroad where the weekend it's Michael Bublé, my arse. <laughs> Herself and her Michael Bublé. <laughs> Henry, would you just put a bit of sense to the whole feckin' thing? Well, the song, Happy, it's a current hit at the moment, number one in the charts for the last number of weeks. Um, to take a song like that from the charts and to give it a 1920s dance routine, like to Charleston, I thought it was fabulous uh, to do that. Um, also, um, I believe, Michael, you're one of the uh, movers and shakers in Ballyglass, <laughs> and you lived up to your uh, thing tonight, to your fame. Um, Sarah, you're absolutely superb. Uh, with your dancing. You look fantastic. Um, you certainly made everybody happy tonight with that dance. It was a stunning performance and one of the best of the night. You know, I, you know, I have to comment now on that comment. You know, movers and shakers and bell of glass. <laughs> Jesus sake, yeah, Henry. I mean, most people have either moved or they're shook in that, like, glass. <laughs> just sick. Movers and shakers. Oh, just Henry is getting to know himself now, you know. And I, I wouldn't be surprised he'll try and take over my job next. Can we have your votes, judges? Oh, no. Hello. Because I'm happy. Well done, ladies and gentlemen.
and gentlemen, that's a big one to Sarah and to Michael. What a performance, I'm telling you. That stole the show. The lads are out again now, so they are, and they're moving the plant. Girls, any you fancy them? Any you fancy bringing home to your mothers? Two grand lads, they're going to get. Are you having a good night? And are Mayo going to win tomorrow? Are there court people here? Anna, go home. <laughs> if I knew you were let in, I'd have, I wouldn't have let you in at all. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the final individual dance of the evening. And we've had a great evening. And it's not over yet because we've got more entertainment, more frolics for you. Will you please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Stephanie Lally, a good Ballantubber name, and Rory O'Connor, steeped in Ballantubber. Stephanie, Stephanie. And Rory. How are you keeping? Come on, wait, wait, no, we have to, we have to go because the cameraman will eat that stuff for me if I don't go. Come out here. Come out here. Now, for a wing back, you could come out a bit quicker. Okay, so what, are, you, have you, are you injured? You, you've what? I have a sore shoulder. I have an injury in my shoulder. Oh, Stephanie, did you not massage it for him? I did, yeah, but it was much good. Okay. It's the end of that conversation. It, 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 you should have done the medical. I should have done the medical. Have you ever saw Sean? Stephanie, I passed the medical. Stephanie gave me the medical earlier on. I'll give it to you. And um, 
Stephanie's outfit is sponsored by the RSA. <laughs> be safe, be seen. Whether you're dancing, home from a disco or what. Is that right, Stephanie? Yeah, exactly. Well, I love the feathers, by the way. Honest to God. You're just right to be plucked, so yeah. <laughs> How is, how is Mayo TV going? It's going good, yeah. We're uh, covering all the parades in uh, New York, in London, and in Manchester and in Westport as well. So. Oh, you can't be imagine the Americans. It's so good to be home in Ireland. Oh, I love it here. My, my great-great-grandfather's first cousin, fifth wife, came from County Mayo. Henry, you'll be covering the parade, won't you? You'll be covering it tomorrow. Yes, yes. Are you looking forward to it? Yes, as usual, thank you. Yeah. Take up the microphone, Henry, oh, for sorry. Jesus' sake. Because <laughs> I can hear you, but the rest of them can't. <laughs> Jesus, Mary Ann Joseph. <laughs> you look forward, it'll be a great day tomorrow, won't it, Henry? With it'll the Castle Bar Mitchells and everything. Yeah, absolutely. The theme for tomorrow's parade, of course, is the yellow and red of uh, the Mitchells' colours tomorrow. We're expecting a great turnout. The weather's promised good. And uh, we want to send the boys off on a high tomorrow uh, for their big match on uh, St. Patrick's Day for the club championship. And no doubt bringing another cup back to Mayo after the minors, of course, uh, last right. summer. Yeah, so fantastic. we'll be all looking forward to that. Now, Henry, what did you think of the bit of Dousa? I just tell people that it's, uh, it's starting at 12 o'clock tomorrow, the parade. It's earlier than usual because the, the match, of course, uh, is on tomorrow. The league is on with Mayo and Cork are playing tomorrow as well in uh, McHale Park. Uh, Henry, would you like to read the sports news? I asked you for a comment on the dances. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you having a bit of crack now, Henry? Oh, do you want me to start? You do. <laughs> oh, whenever you're ready, Henry. <laughs> So we can do it from the stage tomorrow below on the main street, if you want. <laughs> All right, um, I, 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 uh, this dance, uh, the Charleston at its best. It's uh, a great closing number for the competition. Uh, Rory, your, your footwork is not confined to the playing field, I have to say. You're fairly lively on the stage as well with your footwork. Um, Stephanie, you look absolutely amazing. You got into the look of the Charleston era. You've got the right gear on as well. I thought some of the moves you've done there uh, tonight were absolutely fabulous. They were incredible to watch. Um, there was, there was a, a touch of drama and mystique at the beginning of your uh, dance, and we didn't know what to expect. But uh, in the end, I have to say, it was absolutely classy, fantastic. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Thanks very much, Henry. And whenever you're ready, and don't bother with the Michael Bublé stuff, you know. <laughs> Ginger Rogers, though, and Fred Astaire, eat your heart out. Yes. <laughs> um, Ginger nut biscuits. I love the sequence of the dress of Stephanie, the lovely blue and gold, it's fabulous. And uh, Rory, you look great in your lovely took you know, with the dicky bow, and the moves were fantastic. Um, the footwork was really great. You synchronized a lot, and there was great chemistry between you, and I th really thought it was a great, great number. But I wouldn't have picked that song, funny enough, because it's a very difficult song to dance to, and there's a change in the tone and the rhythm in it a few times, so you pulled it off really well, because you had to change it so many times for a Charleston. Well done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the Corcoran's all right. The dance is great, but I wouldn't pick the song. Margaret, could you just add something positive to the thickening evening? Oh, thank you. Uh, Rory and Stephanie, that was a magnificent performance. Um, I, um, I must compliment you because you're the last couple on the floor tonight and I'm sure it wasn't too easy waiting for your time to come on stage. You did very well. Just to comment on the Charleston, um, the Charleston is from the 1920s and your dress is very much adapted towards that, which is great. Actually, the Charleston was written by, composed by a man by the name of James Johnson, and my grandfather was James Johnston. So. Oh, Margaret, I'm getting oh, emotional. Oh, right. You don't know how that. <laughs> oh, Margaret. Just, 
two comments as well on the dance. There was great timing, great energy between the two of you, great balance as well, which is important for dancing. It was a delight to watch and I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please give Stephanie and Rory a big round of applause and can we have your votes? Oh. Give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't they do very well? Well done, well, 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 well done. Oh. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stay on stage. We're bringing them out for the final time tonight, ladies and gentlemen. All our dancers for giving us of their time and their talents and coming out here tonight. Cheers, I'll get a... Christ him, chair. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we want you on your feet and we want you clapping because this is a lively one. So you're going to be on your feet? Come on, ladies and gentlemen, for the final time tonight. For my head, I got a pencil full of lead and some water for my throat. I got buttons for my coat and sails on my boat. So much more than I needed before. I got money in the meter and a tube. I eat the road now, it's getting off the road. So they get sweeter. I got legs on my tails and a head for a hair. Bought it on pine and some shoes in my feet. I got a shelf full of books and most of my teeth. A few pairs of socks and a door with a lock. I got food in my belly and a license for my telly. And nothing's gonna bring me down. For the scene, come out in a box, so I'm in with a shout. I got a favorite chat, but better than that. Put in my belly and a license for my daddy, and nothing's gonna bring me down. I'm gonna blow it out. Ladies and gentlemen, were they simply fantastic? Who lost their hat? MJ? Who was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, God bless us. There you are. If the cap fits, wear it. Ladies and gentlemen, were they simply fantastic? One last time, give them a big round of applause. I think they were, each and every one of them, fantastic. Well done, well done to you all. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Did you enjoy yourselves? It wasn't as bad as she thought. No. There you are. Ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a little break now. There will be, for each couple, they'll be color-coded, and I think their names will be on their, 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 their bibs or what. So if you want to vote for your favorite dance couple of the night, please do so now. And remember that all the funds, ladies and gentlemen, all the funds here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, are going towards 
Ballantubber GA, and it's very part, uh, very much part of your community. Ballantubber has been doing very well in the last few years, ladies and gentlemen, winning county titles and stuff like that. So. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to fa vote for your favourite couple, if you want to influence the result tonight, we'll have results after a little while. Please do so now. We'll be back with you. Probably we'll keep it as tight as we can to about 10 minutes, and we hope that you're still on your toes and you're enjoying yourselves. Once again, give them a big round of applause, and thank you, thank you so, so much. Thank you. There you are. Thank you so much. Now. This is the group dance, and uh, the first section in the first half of the group dance. We had uh, five couples. We had Marcus Kane and Sheila Feeney. We had Peter Hawken and Tino O'Doherty. Uh, Padraig Thomas and Janine Hoban. Michael Flannery and Sarah Kane. R Rory O'Connor and uh, Stephanie Lally. I think that's correct, is it? Or was that the second half? I think that was the second, wasn't it? No, that was the first part of the... We're right, yeah, okay. All right, folks, uh, they performed uh, a fabulous number, which is hugely popular at the moment, Blurred Lines. And I think you all enjoyed it immensely. It's a great number and a great one to get everybody dancing to. Now, uh, my colleagues and I, we have to vote on the, on the couples on each, uh, how they performed on each dance. So uh, for Marcus, Kane and Sheila Feely, will we give a vote on this, uh, folks? Yeah. Okay. Do, do you want us to uh, put up the score? You, you put up the score there. Right, right. okay. Uh, this is score for Marcus Kane and Sheila Feeney for Blurred Lines in the group dance. I'm going eight. There oh, you are, ladies and gentlemen. Now. All right, okay. Now for uh, Peter Hawken and Tina O'Doherty. I think I've lost a number here, have I? <laughs> Jesus, Henry, you're getting kind of confused. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go with the vote again for Peter Hawke and Tino Doherty. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. I've lost this. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, yet. Yeah. Okay, right, uh, for Pori Thomas and Janine Hoban. Now, these all performed uh, Blurred Lines in... Uh, and it's very difficult, I have to say, to pick out an individual couple because they're all dancing at the same time and uh, they all perform so well, so... Sorry? Oh, I beg your pardon, yes, okay. So uh, this time for uh, the group dance again, we have uh, Pori Thomas and Janine Hoban, and here we go with the vote. I, I'm going ace again, because I thought they were all fantastic. So uh, we go ace again. And, uh, oh, Anne is going nine on this one. Uh, for Michael Flannery and Sarah Kane. Michael Flannery and Sarah Kane. And this is the vote on this one. I don't know which is that. that that's, a, that's a nine, I think. Nine, nine, nine. Three nines. Dial 999. Dial 999. And for Roy O'Connor and Stephanie Lally, I'm going uh, nine again on this one. So we have uh, an eight and two nines. So that was the first section in the first part of the show, Frank. So do you want us to vote on the second part? Yeah, you okay. can just go straight through the rest of them, Henry. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> now for the group dance, it was the same number again, blurred lines. We had uh, Paddy and Noreen, of course, who gave us a waltz sailor on. They were the first couple on the floor tonight and uh, not, not very uh, easy to be the first up on the floor tonight, but well done. And uh, for the Blurred Lines, uh, we give our vote for that. Yeah, okay. Now for uh, James Finnerty and for Deirdre Hines, we go on uh, eight, nine, and nine. For MJ Ruddy and Leanne Riley. Oh, sorry, I, I've left, I beg your pardon, sorry. For Catherine Flanagan and Barry Finnegan. Catherine Flanagan and Barry Finnegan. We go an eye. Now, for the man from Bangor, so MJ Ruddy and Leanne Riley. Leanne loves to dance. So here we go. We go nine, nine, and eight. 
And finally, Nigel Mannion and Theresa Byrne for the group dance, the final couple for, blow, uh, for Blurred Lines. Uh, this is our final vote. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. Right. There okay. you are. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, judges. Margaret and Anne, you've been excellent. It's, it's, it, again, your job isn't easy. Now, the bucket collection starts, ladies and gentlemen, so you can vote for your favorite dance couple of the night, and it may well influence the result of the night. You get to do so for the next 10 minutes or so. Uh, go ahead, get back here. We've some more entertainment for you. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, we have some results. Thank you very much. See you in 10 minutes. And thank you for being a wonderful audience and making tonight what it has been. Okay. Like you said, give this couple a very, very warm reception. Absolutely splendid exponents of the craft and the art. Take down the lights, start the music. Our mystery couple will be on stage in about a minute. Thank you. Working 
dancing, I'm about to have myself a fit. Bossa Nova, Bossa Nova. Tell you wasn't that? <laughs> no, John, you can't do that. Ladies and gentlemen, Father John Kenny and Margaret Joyce, weren't they simply fantastic? Give them a big round of applause. I mean, do you enjoy that, Margaret? Immensely, immensely, Frank. Yeah. I think if if Pope Francis has a dance band, you'll be in it. Do you, what do you think? Well, he's good at tango, I believe. So uh, that's no harm to just step it out, I'm sure. Oh, jeez, I'd, I'd say you'll be the cardinal of dancing. If there's a, if the, I'll tell you something, if dancing has anything got to do with the next pope, you'll probably be the next pope. <laughs> Would you like to be the next pope? Oh, if they're badly stuck. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please put your hands together and once again show your appreciation for Margaret and John. I think I was watching it from the side. I'm telling you, that's how it should be done. Fantastic, well done. Give them a big round of applause. And well done, and thank you for coming and making this part of the night. You've been simply fantastic. And you're all, you're all dressed up for Patrick's Day. <laughs> and there you are, ladies and gentlemen. I thought they were great. What did you think? <gasps> the word is from the seat of power out the back there that this is extremely, extremely close and tight. And it's very important that Accuracy is, is, accuracy is vital in everything. It's very, very important. This is extremely close between at least three or four or more couples. It's the way it has worked out. As I said, there's going to be two awards. There's going to be a special merit award for a dancing couple. And there's going to be the overall winner of Strictly, the top fundraisers, ticket sellers and all of that. Both have equal prestige. Both awards the same award. I'd ask all the couples to return to the stage, please. All the couples to return to the stage. James Finnerty, ladies and gentlemen. All right. And the cows will be milked in the morning, James. I get Deirdre to milk them. She's in the Ulster Bank. They'll be milking everyone left, right and center. So she'll be milk the cows. I'll tell you what. <laughs> There you are. She didn't take a bit of notice. Because she knew I was telling the truth. Who have we next? We have Rory O'Connor and Stephanie Lally. Rory. The flying wing back. Now, 
And our two photographers will take a half a photograph each. That's it. They take two in case one doesn't come out. Now, who have we next? There we are. We have Nigel Mannion and Teresa Byrne. Oh, now, Kevin will be so excited. Kevin, are you excited? Do you want to come up and say hello to our aunt and Kevin? I know while you wait, you can advertise a house. There they are. Don't tell me what my job is. There they are, now. Well, Teresa, you get... Off back now to the wigwam. Now, who are we next? We have Catherine Flanagan and Barry Finnegan. Margaret Loftus, could we see the banner again? Oh, there's another banner down here. Now, Barry, you'll probably get free windows from Paul Hughes. That's down there. And he, he's still wearing the blouse for a bit. Now, who are we next, Sean? All right. We have uh, Janine Hoban and Porrick Thomas. You remember the erotic dance that brought Bell and Tupper GA to a new law. It was disgusting, immoral, and everything that goes with it. But Janine will be getting free timber for the rest of her life. Now, we have Leanne Riley and MJ Ruddy. And MJ would like to present Leanne with a free water meter that does not record. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's it. Ah, oh, well, MJ, I'll tell God bless you. And our next couple is for the happy couple now. They have to get two because I think they're split up. Paddy and Noreen Tony. They're, they're in. She's in the east wing and he's in the west wing. They're welcome now and I hope the sheep will enjoy it. Oh, God bless you. They're a happy couple. Now, who are we next? We have uh, Sheila Feeney and Marcus Cain. You're welcome. You could have left on the suit, Marcus. He's an honest to God, huh? That's it. All right. You'll need the wide lens for Marcus now. Tina O'Doherty and Peter Harkin. Now, and I'd say this one, Tina's one, she said she'd hang it on the gate where the three donkeys are, you know, just, you know, it'd be nice for them. Hee haw, haw hee. You feel a fall ass? Yeah, Mr. James, I don't know. What do you think, Marcus? All right, Sean, we'll hand it over to you. Just, it feels like James last. All right, folks. Uh, everybody that took part on behalf of the club, they're all winners. All winners. This is just the way that marketing worked out. But I can tell you the work they put in the last three or four months has been absolutely phenomenal. They are all, all winners. The first one, the first one I will announce is the Judges Special Merit Award. And I'll do the presentation to that couple. This crystal will be in, embossed with their photographs and uh, the lady will have the bunch of flowers. So the Judges' Choice for Balantubber Strictly 2014 is Michael Flannery and Sarah Mahan.
I won't tell you. I will tell you. This has been meticulously done and accurately done by three wholly independent, independent scrutinizers and everything else. The overall winner of Balotelli Strictly 2014 is Catherine and Barry. now is Faye's band are going to take the stage. We're going to cheer the middle section of chairs and people sit on the sides.